Twenty million dollars in the hole. Gone. Bankrupt. Done. Arriva down. Gee. Bankrupt. Tony. Nick. Sal's are you? Hey, shut up. I'm speaking to my lawyer here. Watch out. Tony. I mean Lionel. I don't do Listen, they it. got me. Can you believe it? I'm up yeah. to Creek without a paddle. When I retire, it's going to be sunset. Sun, sun, sun. 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 Take care of Lionel. Okay, people, let's fix it. Ah! It's Heartland Values with your host, Nurse Bob. All right, welcome to the show. Thank you. Alleged Mafia Don Salvatore Leone has been arrested by federal agents today after an extensive citywide manhunt. The FBI claimed Mr. Leone is the head of a crime syndicate spanning several states and is also the mysterious Mr. Big behind every organized crime here in our own fair city. More on this and other stories later on LCN. He's your lawyer, Mr. Leone. I know who the hell he is, pal. Come on, give me a break here. Go ahead, kid, run along. Say hello to your mother for me, Gabish. All uh, right, you got five minutes. Listen, uh, Lionel, you're looking good. Look at me, a fine member of the community, and suddenly I'm banged up. It really challenges my philanthropic nature. Uh, of course, Mr. Leone, we're doing everything we can to get you out of here and uh, back to helping your community as soon as possible. Of course, I hope we can sue someone for this outrage. Those cunts, the Sindacos, or those cocksuckers, the Ferrellis? Who was it? Who ratted me out? Let's hit them both hard. The way I see it, they both could use a good beating for this outrage. Motherfuckers! It will be my pleasure. Thank you. Tony. You really mean a lot to me. You know that? Listen, you might need some backup. Uh, use the hoods, okay? Whatever you think is best, Mr. Leone. All right. Get out of here, Lionel. Okay, cuz, let's smoke this town. Hey, Sal, it's me, Tony. Tony, it's good to hear your voice, kid. These chumps won't let me see nobody. Listen, I got plenty of business to take care of. Take Paulie Sindaco. His family's finished in this town. But he thinks he can just run away like he's got no dues to pay. I'm in jail because of that bastard. Make that son of a bitch pay. Sindaco has left the building. Sal, how's it going? Oh, fucking Ben there. Just great. Number one, the new mayor is fixing it so I don't get bailed. Number two, we're stuck fighting the goddamn triads and Diablo. Number three, I hear that the fucking Yakuza are gonna make a play to take over the city. Other than that, everything is just peachy. After all these years of mob control, we've finally flushed it all down the crapper. Boss, I can take care of everything. Yakuza have got a load of weapons in Espatria. Nothing can stop them now. We'll see about that. Holy shit, I don't fucking believe it.
Yeah. Uh, Tony, it's Donald. No, no, wait, don't hang up. I've got a very exciting proposition for you. Please come by my current, um, residence, and I'll fill you in. Tony, please, Tony, have a heart. I I'm calling you from my last time. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Tony. How the mighty have fallen. But this is just a temporary blip, my man. Okay. Oh, don't be all touchy. I know I said some nasty things about this being your fault and all, but hubris is a nasty, nasty bedfellow. Almost as nasty as termites. And trust me, I've tried both recently. Wait. You and me are on our way back. I never went away. We're in this together, amigo. No, we're not. Please. Please? Please? Forget about it, buddy. It's all your fault? Pathetic. Ten percent. Ten percent of what? This? Oh, you're too kind. Not of this. Of something really big. Come. I'll tell you about it on the drive. I hope you have your car. Mine's in the, uh, uh, shop. Yeah. Tony, my ex-mentor, Avery Carrington, is flying into town today. It's come to my attention that he's working for the Panlantic Corporation. They'll do anything to get prime real estate. You're so kind of we have to get hold of his plans to acquire land. Come on, Tony, get after him. Kill them, Tony. I need those plans. Ah! Out of my way, I'm late for a meeting. Oh, capital Tony! That's a company Quite car. literally. Ugh. Now let's I get this back to the safety of my um, place of abode. You are gonna complain about my. from the ashes, like Lazarus. Yes, Lazarus love. Ah, I'm gonna be rich again. Panlantic are gonna pay me a fortune to see the deal through. We did it, Tony. Whatever. It's time for a little soiree with a very exclusive guest list. Come on. We've last met. You used to bring me such pearls of wisdom. And soon I shall die again. My oh, God, he's wearing a wig! Tony, Donald here. If the Panlantic deal is to come to fruition, we're going to need to, um, how can I put this delicately? Clear a small section of land in Fort Stark. Yeah, when you say we, you mean me, right? No, <laughs> Tony, you see right through me. Go and see 8-Ball. I'm sure he can provide us with the necessary hardware. Donald sent me to pick up some, uh, hardware. Alright, I got what you boys need, but it's gonna cost. Don said you'd pay me up front, and he'd reimburse you later. Yeah, I bet he did. Now where's the hardware? Shit, son. Hardware like this takes time to put together. I'll be in touch. Is this Mr. Cipriani? Who's this? How'd you get my number? If one puts their mind into it, one can achieve much. I shouldn't have to tell you that, Mr. Cipriani. I need your help in a delicate matter. For this help, You'll be richly rewarded. I will explain when you arrive at my apartment in Torrington. So, did 
This is the big tough gangster. You don't look so tough. Thanks. Do you know what it is to live without love, Mr. Tony? It is to live with hate. I'll take your word for it. It is my earnest wish to destroy a man, Mr. Cipriani. Destroy. Not merely kill. I want him and his whole organization weakened and humiliated before he dies. I want him to suffer. Okay. This man I want you to destroy is my husband, Kazuki Kazen. Don't worry. For your services, you will be handsomely rewarded. Well, what if I say no? You won't. Because why I merely want him dead, you need him dead. In truth, you have already dealt him a severe blow, Mr. Cipriani. However, he is taking delivery of more munitions today. I want you to steal those weapons from right under his ignorant nose. Good. Goodbye. you got there, boy. You know, I do so much business at these docks, I should have set myself up here, not halfway down that goddamn island. Well, been a blast. Mr. Tony. My husband was greatly infuriated by your actions. You have made him and his men look like the fools they are. <laughs> I aim to please. What's next, Princess? My husband is moving a great quantity of cash from his casino. I want you to destroy all of that money. Oh, I can find a damn good use for that money, sweetheart. I want his money burning in the street for all to see. Okay, okay. When's this move gonna happen? It has already begun. They're leaving the casino right now. So please, you don't have much time. Anyone home? Mr. Tony? A moment, please. My husband is furious. He wonders how you come to know when and where to attack him so precisely. Unless he's a fool, he'll work it out soon enough. Perhaps we should help him. His men gossip like old women. Let's give them something to talk about. Where are we going? The opera. The opera? Me? You kidding? Don't be ridiculous, Mr. Tony. Everyone loves the opera. If you bring my car around, we can collect your tuxedo. We don't have long. The show starts very soon. Don't the government must succeed you. My husband is samurai, Mr. Tony. He is very strong, but very, very bad. He only married me to become Makagashira in Liberty City. He has never loved me. He prefers the company of his men. Do you understand? When he finds out what you're doing, you know he's gonna kill you. I do not care for life or death anymore. Only freedom. What a relaxing worldview. 